There are many new entities in the mines, but there have also been changes to the existing ones. Rush will both flicker the lights and cause an earthquake when he is about to spawn, if only the lights flicker or only an earthquake happens it is a fake. Rush can now also come from the front. You can also hide from Rush in drawers like this. Eyes is now able to teleport. Ambush works mostly the same, however you need at least two closets as hide now lurks in your last locker, so when he rebounds go to a different locker. Even though he rebounds slower it is still better to stay in a locker till he passes twice, as otherwise you might not have enough time to switch lockers. Jupe is now buffed. Before he could only spawn jupe doors one less or more that the correct door so if there was more than one wrong door it was very easy to tell the correct one. Plus in dark rooms jupe used to be unable to attack you. However now jupe can spawn doors much higher or lower than the correct door, and he can also now attack you in dark rooms but he will be much louder. Also Halt has a new much longer hallway, make sure to push down this minecart otherwise you will get cornered by him, this is the whole new Halt sequence. The first new entity is Giggle, Giggle will attach onto the ceiling and when you walk under him he will attack you dealing 40 damage unless someone knocks him of you sooner. He will be unable to attack you for 5 seconds if you shine a light on him or throw a glow stick at him. You can use this to your advantage if you are struggling with Giggle as every 5 seconds or when you enter a new room you can shine a light at the ceiling you are about to walk under to stun any Giggles. Giggle also has another interesting feature that is when you look at him his hitbox will be much smaller than when you are not looking at him. The next new entity is the Gloombat sometimes when you enter a room they will spawn in swarms, when in swarms they are able to open doors and the room they spawned in will have eggs on the floor. If you step on any of the glowing ones they will damage you and spawn more Gloombats. Gloombats hate light so they will destroy any lights and glow sticks they see, they will also attack you if you hold a light source although they will not attack laser pointers. I recommend not using glow sticks as they will lure them back towards making them stay for a very long time. You will also need to deal with fire damp rooms, these rooms will have a fire symbol on their door and will also have these vents and will glow orange, if you turn on a lighter you will explode. Other lights work fine. You will also start to suffocate and if you stay for too long you will pass out and die. Fire damp rooms cannot spawn in the sores. There are also some more special rooms which I would like to talk about. You may encounter a flooded maze at any time in your run. There will be tunnels and these air pockets which you can use to breathe. There are also these dead ends with air pockets. There are also these side rooms which can contain shears. Now for the first main entity of floor 2 figure. Around door 110 figure will drop down from the pipes however you don't have to worry about him yet. Next around door 120 figure will spawn right in front of you. To get past this room first lure him to the door, don't worry he can't leave the room. Then as he goes back follow him but maintain a good distance in case he turns around. After that go to this junction and when figure goes wait to see which way he is coming back from. Now go the other way and through the door, be careful as Jupe can also spawn here. Be careful as he can now hear you opening drawers but you can distract him with a glow stick. He is not as big of a boss in the mines as he was in the hotel. The first chase seek will chase you through the mines, he will always spawn at door 140. In the first 5 rooms you will need to jump over these gaps, you will need to time your jumps perfectly. If you are having trouble with the jumps I recommend looking down to see the perfect time to jump. You will need to follow guiding light to choose the correct path, make sure to follow the blue light and not the sparkles as the sparkles can lag behind making it hard to choose the correct path. In this part you will have to choose from 4 paths. But it is hard to tell where the guiding light is going from the middle, so instead look where guiding light is going from here. And then jump in the middle and follow that path. Then at door 145 this cutscene will start. Then you will fall into the minecart, 
then you will need to crouch under this barricade. If you fail to do so you will be damaged and have your vision blurred. Here you also need to follow the guiding light to choose the correct path. To choose which way you want to go you need to press the A and D keys. Also in these outside sections it is possible for a barricade to spawn right in front of the turn making it impossible to see the correct path. So try and see which way the guiding light is going before the turn, it is easier to see where the light is going if you get one of these down sections before the turn as you can see it from above. Also do note that leaning the mine cart makes it much slower, so seat can catch up to you if you lean it too much. This ends at door 149. In the second seat after Seek you will be introduced to the Grumbles. The Grumbles are huge, they are not blind, and are slightly slower than you when they are not chasing you. However they are slightly faster than you when chasing you. You can make them very slow by shining a light on them and you can also stun them with a crucifix. More Grumbles will spawn in, the more time you spend in the nest, and they might also start to camp your location so don't waste too much time. There are two types of Grumbles Patrol Grumbles and Queen Grumbles. Worker Grumbles are at the normal speed and many can spawn and they will only damage you knocking you away. However Queen Grumbles are able to one-shot you and are super fast, they are the one who shows up in all the cutscenes and you can tell them apart as they have a huge scar on their face. There are certain spots where the Grumbles can't but you can use these as safe spots. After the cutscenes you will need to run to the computer and press this button for power. This will trigger an anchor sequence. There are anchors up to D in most runs but in runs with many players there will be more. Anchor A always spawns here. Go to it and input the code then pull the lever to confirm it. After that go back to the computer and press the button for instructions to the next anchor. Tenor will point in the direction of the next anchor. The main difficulty of the nest is that it is hard to navigate like a maze, and has two floors. So here is a map of both of them, you can take a screenshot for later reference. The possible anchor locations are in red, the safe spots are in green, the stairs to go between the two floors are in purple, the main computer is in blue. The exit for when you've powered up all the anchors is in yellow, and the vine covered shortcuts that can be cut open with shears are in green. Also do not wait for too long in any spot as the grumbles will start to camp you which is basically a game over. There are also some more challenging spots which I would like to cover. First of all there is a secret room on the first floor in the very bottom right corner of the map. This secret room can come on any of the anchors and you can tell when you have gotten to this secret room as the antenna will be pointing perfectly backwards. To get to this secret room first go through this minecart puzzle on the right side. Then go into this room and through this circular tunnel. Continue to the end here and turn right, go down this walkway and into the crawl space. There is also another anchor location here for anchor C. This corner of the map is very hard to get out due to the circular tunnel making it very easy for two or more grumbles to camp here so try to get out of here as fast as possible. If anchor B comes in this location there is a glitch you can use to get to it without even going in the tunnels. Go on top of this pile of seat, face away from it and hold the A and D keys, you will notice yourself slowly rising. Once you are high enough turn around to make it over the rock. To go back you can simply go normally over the rock. This glitch does not work for any other locations as there is a minecart puzzle that can only be solved from the other side. Also this location for anchor C is not safe. All of the other anchors are located in safe spots however in this spot the grumbles can get you while you are imputing the code. It is the only anchor C location on the second floor so you can tell when you have it as your antenna will point up. Run to the code and note down the sticky note operation and calculate what numbers you need to press. Then wait until the coast is clear then run and input the code and quickly run back. Now onto the sticky note situation. All the anchors exempt for A will have a sticky note on them with a plus or minus than the number. Plus and then a number means that the number that you press will be that amount greater than the number that appears on the screen, and vice versa for minus. For example if the sticky note says plus 5 and I want to type 0 I need to press 5. The last anchor will always have a broken screen, this means you can't see the numbers you are entering. You can tell when you have entered it correctly as it will exit you out of the anchor. 
Note that there will only be more anchors if the other players made it to door 150. After you have completed all the anchors go back and press the button to lower the bridge. After the grumbles you will enter Jeff's shop, Jeff now doesn't sell crucifix. He now sells all the flashlights, a bandage pack and battery pack. I recommend buying a bandage pack and or battery pack as you have very limited gold in the mines. Now onto the sores, the main difficulty with the sores is there are much less hiding spots so it is very easy to die to rush or ambush. I would recommend taking a note if the room you are leaving has a hiding spot or not if it does pours on the door to see if rush spawns, and if it doesn't run straight through. It is also helpful to take a look around and see what all you can hide in. The drawer trick is not as helpful here as they barely spawn. You may also run across these huge sore rooms, it is helpful to use glow sticks to mark your path as it is easy to get lost. Try to get out as fast as possible as if you don't dread can spawn and kill you. Around door 170 you will encounter second figure, you will need to find two fuses to power up a generator. You will need to open drawers but the issue is that figure can hear you opening drawers, so whenever he hears you opening a drawer quickly go away while still being crouched. Do not hide in closets as hide will kick you out before figure goes away. If you are having trouble with this room I recommend waiting in the last room until guiding light comes, and then only opening the drawers guiding light shows you to. In the second seek chase seek will chase you through the sewers. It will always happen at door 195. There are four rooms split up into five sections. Start, tunnels, jumping, tunnels, and end. The start and end sections are pretty simple just requiring you to go forward, and the jumping sections are similar to the ones in the first seek chase but the jumps are harder to make. However the tunnel sections are much harder, remember the part where you had to choose between four paths in the first seat chase, and we would check earlier. Well here the tunnels are those sections repeated constantly but much harder, here you cannot see far ahead as the tunnels are closed. But don't worry there is a simple method to find the correct path. Pay attention to the guiding light, as soon as it disappears look left and right until you find the correct tunnel. In the correct tunnel you will see the guiding light but not only that it will also be much more lit up than the wrong tunnels, this will end at doors 199. At door 200 you will need to fight against Seek in the dam, it is easy to get overconfident and mess up here so take it slow and cautious. There are three levels. In level 1 you only need to turn two valves and Seek will only throw his hands at you, they deal 20 damage and knock you into the sludge, which will do constant damage to you. In the second level you will need to turn for valves, and Seek sludges will also rise up sometimes, they will slowly approach you and when you touch them they will insta-kill you. In the third level you will need to turn 5 valves and Seek will now also launch Seek worms at you, these worms will insta-kill you and are very fast, to avoid them you need to keep moving. When Seek is about to do one of his attacks the area he will attack will turn red. Try to go up and plan your path beforehand and do not take risky looking jumps as it is possible that it is the wrong way to go and you could die. Health is very important at door 200 as most of Seek's attacks will damage you instead of killing you. Having a bandage pack is helpful as you can regenerate when Seek damages you, also make sure to look in lockers for items in the dam as they will help you a lot. Also try to jump over the rocks instead of going in the sludge as you can jump over many of them. After you have completed the third level you will need to power on a generator to open the door and escape. Firstly if you want to buy something in the starting shop I recommend buying the bulk light and or bandage pack. If you are short on knobs you can buy the regular flashlight instead but don't buy the strap light. Also make sure to loot a lot as it is much more helpful in floor 2. 
Also make sure to look in all side rooms as if you can get the shears you can very easily get powerful items like bolt lights and crucifixes. I do recommend saving at least one use for door 150. Also keep in mind that Screech can attack anywhere in the mines except for the two seek chases. Anyways that is how to beat doors floor 2. If you found this video helpful consider liking and subscribing but only if you want.